Hi everyone. This is a cheap and cheerful rifle that I acquired from a member of the Airborne Forum UK. It's a, an old uh, Westlake B2 pistol rifle, Springer. Um, and it was in a bit of a sorry state when I first acquired it, so I did some work on it and it turned out like this. Certainly didn't look like this when I originally acquired it. If you look here, you can see that it was in a, a pretty sorry state. So, did a bit of work on it, and what we're going to do now is try to have a bit of a shoot at it. I've already put about 100 pellets through the, the rifle to get the barrel used to having lead through it again. The barrel was in a very bad state, uh, it was rusty. Um, so was the air cylinder, this one was okay, but it was in the sorry state, so we'll give it a shoot at something down the garden and we'll see how we go. Let's give it a try. Well then here's the uh, Westlake B2, there is a problem with it which I'll actually explain at the end of the video. Just take this camera down the garden here. Lovely day today. Down the bottom of the garden here, I've got uh, an old Yale door lock. Other brands are available. I use this as a plumb line for lining up my scopes for leveling the scopes. Let's try and stick this camera out of the way because I'm not certain where these pellets are going to go. This is a little bit of a hit and miss project, to be honest. I'm not certain this camera is going to be any good here. I'm kind of in the undergrowth a bit. Let's try. Oops. Come back. <laughs> Bear with me. Let's just shift this ivy out of the way. Bit of gardening while I'm at it. Chips hang a bit. There we go. Right, is that any better? You can come out of the way. And you. Don't you just love it when everything starts growing in the garden? Right then, we can now move this camera to here. Is that one recording? I'll go back up the garden and set another one up. Yes, I know it's a bit of a big target, but it's 25 metres away. And I'm using a springer that I really don't know whether it's going to hit that or not. So we'll just have to see. Right then. What I'll do, I'll get another camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Right then, let's have a go. I really don't know what's going to happen at this distance, but let's see what we're going with it. I'm using Acupel 2 2 pellets, 14.3 grain. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's have a go. Missed it. Bit of dieseling going on here. Not a problem. How will we go? Oh. That was one of those nasty bangs. 
where the pressure just should not have come out, but it did. We have another go. <laughs> and they're getting close. Don't forget this is 25 meters away. And I've not tried this rifle at that distance yet. Look, we'll keep trying. There we go, hit it. Not so bad. It's now a moving target and it's swinging pretty well, so... <laughs> Not bad for a moving target, that. <laughs> Still hit it. Don't forget, this is only a, a 30 pound rifle in its day. But it seems to be working okay. Mm. It's spinning rather well at the moment. Let's have a how am I supposed to hit that? Let's have another go. There we go. It works. But unfortunately there is a Hercules heel and I'll show that shortly. Let's just have another couple of shots at the uh, the lock. That really is spinning extremely well. Blimey, how am I supposed to hit that? Not only is it swinging side to side, it's spinning like God knows what. Let's have a go. <laughs> Not a chance of hitting that going like that. Don't stop me trying. Well, that was, <laughs> this is ridiculous trying to shoot this. Oh, got it. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> I really am. Not only is it swinging all over the place, it's rotating like a, a gyroscope. It's so unknown, blimey, now it's swinging back and forth as well. Oh, oh, crack. <laughs> This is like shooting something out of the TV series UFO. Hang on. <laughs> How am I supposed to hit that? Stop me trying though. It's all a bit of fun. That is rotating something rotten. Let's have another go. You cannot hit it. It is moving so violently. Moving targets are one thing, but when it's actually uh, spinning like that, that's ridiculous. Let's have one last shot. Oh crap, now the wind's getting up. <laughs> Come on, slow it down. There we go. I've got it. No, that wasn't the last shot. You know what it's like when you hit it, you think, no, I've got to go again. This will be the last shot. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. I was supposed to hit that. Well, here goes. <laughs> Not a chance. Not to worry. That's okay. We'll just drop the uh, barrel on that. And we'll go and collect it up. Let's take this camera down there. What can this camera see? Hmm. That was a bit of fun. All the day. Oops. 
camera's getting tied up in the, uh, sorry, the tripod's getting tied up and everything. But, there's the lock, swinging all over the place. <laughs> Not too bad. There's the camera that I put in the uh, undergrowth. <laughs> As you can see, it's late spring, everything is starting to grow, so everything looks nice. Right, well, oop, turn this round. Go back up the garden. As you can see, there's my, let's see if I can just zoom in on this, my shooting position from the garden there. meters away and if the camera can focus there's the rifle all the quiet around here today unusual Thanks for watching. Oh, I almost forgot to explain the Hercules heel of this rifle. Although it shoots okay, very difficult to see, but right in front of the objective lens there, there is a tiny pinhole that allows grease to come out of the air cylinder. So the shots are very inconsistent. I'll see if I can highlight this. It's difficult to show at the moment, but I'll, I'll point it out later. And this is leaking grease. So overall, the rifle is not really quite as good as I thought it was. But nevertheless, it was a nice project to work on. Again, thanks for watching.